You know what I'm getting sick of? Scammers. Scammers like this. Pretending to be us, pretending to be diesel power here to fool you guys and thinking you want a truck and take your money. They are disgusting people because they're gonna ruin giveaways for everyone. Listen, if it's not from me personally with my verified check mark, the underscore diesel underscore Dave, or Heavy D Sparks, or Diesel Power Gear with the blue check mark, they've all got blue check marks verified, then it's not us. They're scammers, they're faking you out. And if you want a truck, guess what I do? I video call you so that you can see my face, we can talk face to face, and you know you want a truck. But listen, our latest winner of Tron 2.0, Chris Gooch from Denver, Colorado, dang near lost out on his truck because of the scammers, because he didn't want to answer scamming phone calls. And guess what, it was actually us trying to call him. Because of the scammers, he nearly missed out. We nearly moved on to second place, but by the skin of his teeth, he was able to hang on to his giveaway. And I am sick of the scammers. I don't want that to happen to anybody else. So, don't fall for the scams. You, you right there. Don't fall for it. I'll video call you. I think it's gonna be either rubbing tires on the outside or we're gonna have to cut one of the walls out. The idea we have is if it does not fit in, which as of right now, I think this is 96 inches across and from tire to tire is also 96. 95. What? 95. 95. Yeah, let's see the front see end. The front. 95 and a half. And we had 93 or 92? 92. So we need a, a three to four inch extension just to rub tire on wall to wall. So maybe we just give it a little bit of breathing room. Like a full foot. Extension. I can't wait to be in a business. <laughs> <laughs> Stretchmycontainer.com. So you have a container that doesn't fit what you need. <laughs> Why buy the right size? We'll stretch this one for you. When did you guys need it? That's the question. Oh yeah, we want but to like, film it we're, we're trying to film it in an hour. Yeah, we are not doing any, just waiting for that. Everybody stop working. We have a new project. <laughs> what container. are you doing messing around? Stretch my container. <laughs> Yo, it's for cool. How sick is this? What is it? Whoa, let's yeah. go chop something down real quick. If you can saw through this in less than... You're supposed to be on one side. It's a team effort. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't. Should we swing up? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how sharp those blades are still. Yeah. These are a thousand years old. Oh. As you can see. <laughs> what? Are you what? doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> so, tying out this glove. That is a bro dozer trick. That's a. Uh... There's a bro dozer in here. Dude, yeah. the movie Con Air is one of the best shows ever. Do you know that's actually his that so favorite well. show? It is? What? Dave's wife. Con is it really? Her favorite show. Wait, Ashley's Con Con favorite show is Con Air? Uh -huh. Why? Because <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Sorry, boss, but there's only two men I trust. One of them's me, the other's not you. I'm not, I'm not joking oh, at all. Everything. This is a real conversation we had. You want a knife? It's kind of right, like Ashley? Right? Your favorite <laughs> movie is Con Air. That's what you told me. Don't only you go back on me now. It's the Tiller Handler. Once you get it out. Just for this cinema. Just because that piece I was carrying was super light. sides and the bottoms and the top something like maybe about six inch C channel and so we don't have to worry about patching the sides and then we just take this and then just slap it up on the on the C channel cheesy Colorado's just don't do that I guess I uh, had initial uh, plan, but uh, uh, I got sort of overruled. <laughs> so now it's Iron's plan. All right, all right. So then, the angle yeah. flush to here. 
Oh, what's up, Alec? Oh, hey, what's up, Cole? What are you doing? Mm. All right, guys, we got the Connex out from where it was in the back lot. We've made it a little bit wider to fit Dave's Raptor. The Connex itself is like 92 inches wide. Raptor is like 96 inches wide. So Iran, um, Jose, and Rob have come up with a plan to make it wider. But we got to do that before tomorrow morning. So wish us luck. <laughs> you see this beautiful truck behind me? This is Tron 2.0, one of the coolest giveaways we've done. Do you remember who won it? Well, that's probably because we never announced it. You're probably wondering, what in the world is taking these guys so long to announce the winner of Tron? Well, today, the winner is here, and I'm gonna let him tell you exactly what took us so long. But, that truck that we gave away in April is finally going to its new home. Come on, let's go get him. Come on, let's go get him. Now, I haven't even warned Chris that we're about to film right now, so we're gonna go and surprise him and let him tell you the story. This, my friends, is Chris, the winner of Tron, he's here, yeah! Chris, <laughs> I want you to tell a story. What took us so long to get you the winning truck? Spam callers, man. That's, uh, just People call me all the time that I don't want to talk to you and I don't know the numbers, and I, if I don't know the number, I don't pick up the phone. See, I let him tell you first. Thing mm -hmm. is, if I get a call from a number I don't know, I don't answer it. Does that go for everybody in the room? Maybe not Caleb. Caleb answers I, his I phone. I answer a lot of them. Yeah. These, I'll hang up if I don't know. These guys are wheeler dealers. They'll probably answer the phone <laughs> if you call them because they probably think you're going to buy something from them. But I don't answer spam calls, and neither does Chris. So when we called him to tell me one, we didn't leave a voicemail. We were an unknown number. He didn't answer. We shot some texts. We called. Didn't get a hold of him for how long was it? Cole, how long did we try? Since, since April. Since April. I mean. Trying. That is a man who is dedicated not to answering scam calls. <laughs> <laughs> will not answer them. You will not, not get me. Voice call, but I did send a text that said this is Cole from Diesel Power Gear. I know that you get a lot of people doing that. And yeah. That's explainable. Yeah. This is Abdul from Diesel Power Gear. <laughs> you win five hundred dollars and yeah. truck. Actually, <laughs> and truck. But listen, what Caleb did is at the buzzer, we were like, okay, we're gonna have to move on to second place because we can't get a hold of this guy. He's like, nah. I'm gonna spam call him all day until he answers. So Caleb threw it up at the buzzer, call one, call two, call three, and all of a sudden, guess who answered the phone? Right here, Chris, which means the original winner of Tron 2.0 wins a truck and he's here to get it today. Ooh, yeah. yeah! And there's only one thing left to do, to see your truck. Is it mixed good enough? Gorgeous day. We get the container up on top. Not a problem. All of a sudden, torrential downpour, and we decide we need to put the box down low. So not only do we have to drag the box back down the hill, we had to do it in a rainstorm where everything's turning into a mudslide on the way down. Alan and I are soaked to the bone. Alan is soaked to the bone. Caleb, Caleb stayed in the truck. He was just amplified. It's a little damp. Somehow I'm as dry as a bone. Would be nice to know if we were all going to stay dry. <laughs> I got my jorts. My new jorts are ruined. They're not ruined. They're swampy jorts. You're breaking them in. It's swampy down there now. It's going to go faster than I thought. See my chameleon? That was purple. Remember it was pink? Now it's purple. It's a birthmark. That's gross. You should let your dog look at it, I heard. <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's why it looks so good. What I would do here, Al, <laughs> see that orange area over there? I would maybe send that through, wash it out, see if there's any, because the iron in there shows that the gold might be in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> there are signs. There's, there's signs there. It's a sign. Yeah, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a good sign that there could be minerals of some sort in there, especially iron. I think Moses <laughs> said that was a good sign. <laughs> Give me some out. <laughs> that was close. Hello darkness, my friend. <laughs> Is it just one spike or I got like dinosaur spikes up the neck? I got you an arrowhead. Oh! Right there, Shoshone arrowhead. Yeah, look. It's made of salt. I don't think that's Redmond true. Redmond mines. 
I think you're in the right wrong party to park her in there. Park her. Actually, this bit uh, stayed in. Stayed in, yeah. In there is the is the raptor. That's Caleb. That's FTC. But the raptor. We're gonna bury the raptor. Is that not disgusting? That is disgusting. What are we doing here? Well, see, I got a broken finger and I've got a bunch of pins in it. Step back, you giant. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Should I be higher on the hill or lower? Lower somehow. Okay. So, here's the deal. I got to get through this quick because he's going to hit me with that bucket. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to. Okay. We just built a brand new Raptor wrapped it it's beautiful everything and inside that connex right now first person to find it wins go go found it coordinates are one and zero zero two that's my wife's phone number whoa honey bunches <laughs> this is power box 2.0 we're not 100 percent sure what? if that connex is going to hold up on the dirt uh yeah, that's kind of one of those things where we're just kind of crossing our fingers right now that it is going to hold up. We're we'll try crossing it. our fingers <laughs> that it's going to hold up. Um, we won't see until we get dirt on the roof. I think we're going to see it buckle a little bit, but those uh, tapping screws, they're going to... They'll gonna protect your raptor. Yeah, yeah. Structural engineer right here. Magnum low Lottie, bottom of the class. Now... <laughs> Fun fact about Chris, he's subscribed to the Power Club, which means he enters to win. He doesn't win that month. He compounds his, his entries until he finally wins. Well, you were entered for what, a year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. beginning of the year, yeah, about right around there, yeah. Yeah, so it only <laughs> took him a year to win the truck. <laughs> so would you say a good idea is to be a subscription member? I would say oh, yeah. so, and plus you get lots and lots of, of cool gear. Lots and lots of cool gear. Plus, you want a truck in less than a year. Now, you're about to see your truck. This is going to be a big moment in your life. You might write it in your diary. Chris, Woo! look at your beautiful new truck! Yeah! The best is all this wrap is like reflective. So at night, the lights hit it, and boom! Hey, you drink it in. You have your moment. That's badass, dude. Those are big, man. Those are 
Bad. The JTX 4 24 inch wheels. Mm. Yeah, the custom wrap. Got the six inch lift. This is Chris from Denver, Colorado. And what just happened, Chris? We won Tron! Yeah! <laughs> he won Tron 2.0 because he's a Power Club subscription member, which means he just kept getting entries until he won Tron. That's right, man. Win a truck. Get the gear, man. Yeah, he's got the gear, he's got the truck. You're not going to get Tron 2.0. It's his now. But if you want to win a truck, check it out. You've got Heavy D's Raptor ready and ripe for the taking. All you got to do is get the power box. Power box will win you that truck. It will win you a Ranger, the Polaris North Star Ranger. We're giving away hundreds of Traxxas RC cars, hundreds of ride-along vehicles for kids, and everybody, I mean everybody, gets a custom die-cast truck, which means this giveaway, everybody gets a truck. It's a pretty good deal, right? You better go to dieselpowergear.com or dpgpowerbox.com and get entered right now. Wait, you're gonna need these. Oh man. That's I'm for the winner right there. Right here. Treat her right, okay? Mine. Mine. It's not Chris's yours, now, mine. not yours. Chris's. Yes. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, before we let you go, we got to shout out and give a very special thanks to Tweaker1 and Tweaker2, <laughs> aka Dane and Brett. Not real tweakers, good dudes, excellent actors. Bro, yeah. you were cold. Yeah. <laughs> Super cold. Ever seen. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. But more importantly, I hope you enjoyed this phenomenal giveaway. What do the tweakers think? You like it? Uh, it's a sweet truck. I, I thought this was payment. <laughs> <laughs>